guys, it's Julen and Evie. Welcome back to our channel and welcome to our home here in Santa Monica, California. It is Thursday afternoon, the middle of September, and I wanted to go ahead and sit down and do a casual plant collection video. I have several plant collection videos in my channel, so if you guys love watching any plant related videos, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to thumbs up the video as well. So I'm here in my home and as you can see, I have tons of plants around me. If I could have my way, I would have plants throughout my entire home, but my lighting in my home isn't that well. So this is my only natural lighting source right here, which is one window in my kitchen area. And that is why majority of my plants is in this section of my home. I do live in a studio in Santa Monica, California, and a lot of my plants if you see my plant collection videos are majority living in my patio. I'm going to go through all of my plants that I have living in my home. They do rotate throughout the week so none of them really have permanent homes. I like to have each plant to have some outdoor time as well as indoor time and my patio outside is shaded so it's not a really harsh sunlight on them which is nice. So as you can see in this section of my home is a really great shelf and I had this shelf probably for a few months. I got it thrifted and I absolutely love this piece. I scored it probably for like $15 from someone here in Santa Monica, California. And if you can tell in this section, my theme is blue and white. I'm gonna go ahead and start from the top and work my way. So in this top shelf, I have a begonia, I have a Boston fern, and I have an asparagus fern. I love all three plants. This plant I wanna share with you guys on the top shelf is my beloved begonia. I absolutely love this angel wing begonia. It is the only begonia I do have in my collection. I wish I could have them all. It's absolutely stunning and I went ahead and did a meet my plant video specifically on this one. I think at the time it was living in a terracotta but this is its new home as of yesterday. I scored this planter from Orchards about a mile away from me in Santa Monica. It's a local hardware store where I get some of my plants and planters from. I absolutely love white planters and you will see them throughout my collection. And the begonia is looking beautiful. I love having it on this top shelf because of the height and just the colors and the vibrant vibes that it gives to my collection on the stand. I really love having it on my top shelf. So it's been living here for maybe about two weeks. Otherwise, it's been just living on my patio. But ever since it started blooming, I wanted to go ahead and bring it in my home. Also, if you look in this top section right here, there's more blooms coming out. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have this plant. I absolutely love this one. I found this one at my local nursery here in Santa Monica where I also got my string of hearts, which is now living in my bathroom. I'll go ahead and do an updated bathroom planter collection in the near future. So this one was really inexpensive. I think I got it for a few dollars, probably under $5, and I think it was absolutely such a steal. I love the different tones and textures of this. If you can see, there's silver on the top of the leaf, and then if you look in the back of the plant, it has a totally different vibe. So it has like a really dark maroon, and it just has so many dimensions to these plants. It's absolutely one of my favorite house plants to have in my collection. So the next plant I want to talk about is my Boston Fern. Now this is just a little baby one. It actually fell off when I replanted the big mother plant in a terracotta the other day when I purchased it from Las Vegas and brought it back home here. Since it fell off, I was like, you know what? You're gonna go into a separate planter and come into the house. So it's currently living on the top shelf of my shelfie. I absolutely love ferns. They are very hard to take care of. And as you can see, it is already withering and drying out over here. It was already like that when I brought it home from Las Vegas, but I may trim it maybe before I leave to Vegas, but this is a very hard finicky plant to take care of. All ferns are very temperamental type of plants, meaning you need to mist them often and make sure that their soil is nice and moist. Otherwise, and it's just gonna shrivel like this. But if that ever happens to you, and this happened to my maiden hair fern, do not throw away the plant. Just trim them off and just keep giving it some TLC. Eventually, new leaves are gonna pop up. So I absolutely love my asparagus fern. I absolutely love asparagus ferns and I got this one in Las Vegas a couple of months ago earlier this year from my favorite nursery in Las Vegas star nursery and I think I scored this for maybe three dollars it has grown since I purchased it 
a lot of my friends tell me when they come over to my house and they see this plant that they don't like this plant because it has thorns but I don't really see any thorns and I don't think it's going to get much bigger than maybe double the size of this I'm not too sure I think it's a really great size where it's at right now as you can see there's a lot of dimension and growth going on I love to rotate all of my plants whether they are inside the house in my bathroom or my patio I do rotate them so they evenly get sun distributed throughout all sides of them so this is what my asparagus fern looks like. I do miss all of my plants, like I said in previous videos, two to three times a week. All of my house plants, I do water them twice a week. So that guy is living in my top corner of my shelf. Also, the planter was purchased from Home Goods TJ Maxx from Las Vegas. So I absolutely love the fact that this plant has the same theme of my Japanese owls, which I will talk to you guys next about. So anything royal blue and white, I just kind of gravitate to for this section of my plant. Coming along to my second shelf on my plant shelf, as you can see, there's tons of owls mixed in with my plants and they are throughout my plant collection. So thumbs up the video if you are an owl fan like myself. I am definitely a huge fan of the Greater Grey Owl. I actually went to an owl cafe in Japan. I will go ahead and insert a picture here so you can see. And I want this little guy from a little game that we played at the Owl Cafe. So this is where it lives currently on my plant shelfie. Now as you can see, I have a little white owl here. And this was a thrifted find that I found from my local thrift shop just for a few dollars, maybe about a mile from me here in Santa Monica. I was on the lookout for thrifted owls and I love having them in my collection. So this guy is currently living here. The next owl I wanna talk about is my thrifted Japanese owl. I found this from a local flea market and I love thrifting around the world for things like this. This was one of my favorite finds in Tokyo. I actually found another baby owl just like this from another flea market in Tokyo that randomly matched with this one. So I couldn't believe when I came across this and the smaller one and now they live on my plant shelf feed which randomly matches my blue and white planters. All of my planters came from separate purchases and I love the way how it all matches together. So this is my Indian Rokoya plant. I actually did an unboxing of this plant earlier in the beginning of the year. If you guys are interested, go ahead and scroll through my plant videos on this channel and you can go ahead and find it. Now it grew tremendously since it's been in my care. I think when I bought it, it was maybe this tall. So all this extra length right here that is cascading down is all new growth. I'm really excited about this one because this plant, it, it's a really hard plant to see growth over time. It's not like it blooms a new leaf or anything like that where you can see that you are actually growing a plant. But all of this right here is new growth for me since I got in the plant a few months ago. And I really wanted a variegated one. And I actually didn't see any in Las Vegas of this particular plant at all so I ordered it online. The plant nursery where I got the begonia from actually has tons of Indian Rokoya plants and e even variegated ones so but they're really expensive so I didn't purchase it when I moved down here but I keep eyeing them out. I may have to get them. Now the thing about the Indian Rokoya that I love is the beautiful curly Q type leaves and what I do not have yet on this plant is beautiful blooms. So it does have blooms on them. We'll see when it will show up on this plant. But I've seen plants that are cascading super long and I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. And it kind of just rests on my owl's head for support. I absolutely love this plant and I'm so glad that I did purchase it when I did. And it was really fun doing an unboxing for you guys. So this is, I guess, a little plant update and I absolutely love my Indian rose. Now my second shelf is my crown of thorns. I absolutely love this plant. It was a great find that I found actually at the Melrose Trading Post flea market in Los Angeles and this was like pretty much the only plant I ever bought there. I love going to flea markets and finding plants and thrifted fashion items. So this was my find at the Melrose Trading Post and I absolutely love this thing. I purchased it for maybe around $3 and at the time there was white blooms on it and that's what made me attracted to it. And it has given me several blooms since then living in my collection here. But currently right now there is none which kind of makes me really sad. I absolutely love having this plant in this planter which is also thrifted. And I think I got this from a thrifted shop here in Santa Monica, California I want to say. 
I actually didn't think that I was going to have a blue and white theme in the future and I can't believe it matches perfectly with everything else going on with this shelf. So with that being said, yes, I do encourage buying planters when you see something, even if you don't have a plant at the time that will go into it. Eventually, you'll find something for it and everything pairs up. And that's kind of like how I like to do with like my thrifted fashion items. So when I seen this plant, I thought it'd be perfect in this planter. And it's been living in here ever since. Now these plants do get really big and we'll see how long I keep this in, a, in this planter. But for now, it lives in this beautiful thrifted planter that looks perfect on my So shelf. this is my beloved Peperomia. And I can't believe it's alive and giving me so much love because originally when I bought it, in Las Vegas earlier this year. It got sunburned from being really close to the south facing window in my place in Las Vegas where I was living at at the time. And I felt really bad for it. So ever since then, I put it in this beautiful planter which I also got thrifted. And this one was thrifted from San Francisco and was actually in my collection from last year. And I can't believe this is the first planter of the blue and white collection that I had and it looks perfect with the peperomia as you can see there is a little bit of sunburn left but i think it's doing really good recovering from my plant abuse hopefully i will not have that happen to this plant in the future and i think it's been living on my shelf ever since i lived in this place and it's been doing really good i absolutely love peperomias i do not know what variation this is unfortunately i have so many peperomias i think i may just do a peperomia video plant collection in the future so you guys can maybe help me out on the variations but I do as well rotate this when it's living on my shelf so it gets even distribution of light and as you can see it's variegated and I love the long shiny foliages so it's a really hardy plant this is a very hard plant to kill but again very sensitive with light so do not put this in direct sunlight because you'll end up having the same problem as me Burning your so plant. the next plant that is living on my shelf is my philodendron which was actually part of my plant that was living in my bathroom which is not living in my bathroom anymore and there's a string of hearts that's living in my bathroom now but this was actually part of a plant that fell down when my friend came over and she dropped my plant it's okay we're going to propagate him so I stuck this in water and I did share a planting video on this guy on another video and I thought it'd be cute for now living in this little owl. I have the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil planters. I have two of them living on my plant shelf outside. And since I had this one available and empty, I figured it would be perfect with my owl blue and white collection. So it's been doing really good. I will go ahead and eventually put this in a different planter when it gets a little big. But for now, I think it's super cute on my shelf. And as you can see, there's tons of new growth right there. Talking about everything non-plant related on my shelf, like my owls, I figured I'd go ahead and share with you guys the shells that are currently living on my third shelf. These were gifted to me from my best friend in Hawaii. He knows I collect shells. And since they're very rare shells to find, I love having them displayed on my plant shelfie and I think it just gives a little cute different vibe. It's definitely me, so I love shells. Maybe I'll do a shell collection video in the future because I have tons of shells from all around the world. So the next thing I wanna talk about is my Marimal Moss Balls. So I guess you can say this is a plant update. If you guys watch my channel, I do an unboxing video of these guys. And at the time, I didn't know better and I didn't have any glass options. So I stuck them in two small bottles just for the video and I ended up damaging them. I don't know if you can tell, but this guy right here got damaged in the process of me pulling it out. But I have them in two tiers and it's been living on the shelf ever since I moved down to this place in Santa Monica. I love having them like this because they're not squished up in one jar and I can still see them in one section stacked up. So the glass I got from TJ Maxx Home Goods in Las Vegas, it was three tiers and I used to organize all of my rhinestone bangles in this but since I got the Mermel Moss Balls here in Santa Monica, I decided to use them for my Moss Balls instead because I think it looks really cute stacked up and not just mashed up in one jar. So, so here we are on the last section of my plant shelfie and this is what's currently living on it. 
and it is my two Peperomias, which is part of my huge Peperomia collection. Thumbs up the video if you guys love Peperomias as much as I do, along with some of my world art collection. So I'm going to talk about what's living with my plants first and then we'll talk about pets. So I have this blue and white ceramic shoe and this is from my first visit in Amsterdam. I've been to Amsterdam three times and I've been to my last trip in Amsterdam earlier this year. If you guys are interested in seeing my travel vlogs, go ahead and log on to my other channel, Miss Trulin, to see all travel and vlog related type of videos. So it's currently living on this shelf because why? It's a blue and white theme so it matched perfectly on the shelf along with my second thrifted Japanese owl which was found from another thrifted flea market and it was amazing how it matched the bigger owl and it currently lives on the bottom shelf. I absolutely love having them living throughout my pets and if you can see in the back I have a little owl art painting and this was purchased from the first time I ever moved to California nine years ago and this was from an artist that was on the Venice Bar Walk and I absolutely love it because I was so drawn to the owl I was biking on the bike path and then I had to stop and go and talk to the artist and I ended up walking away with this owl piece so it lives here with my plants as you can see there are both white planters I'm going to talk about this guy first. This is one of my Peperomias and there's this similar style to the two Peperomias living in my bathroom. If you look at my Planter Collection Bathroom Edition, I purchased it, I think this and one of them at the same time from the nursery in Las Vegas, maybe for about $7. I absolutely love Peperomias. They're very easy to take care of and again, I rotate them whenever I am here in town. This white planter was purchased yesterday from Orchards. I got three of them and immediately filled them with different plants in my collection. I absolutely love the style pot because it has a terracotta shape and it's not terracotta, it's ceramic and white, of course. The last plant on this shelf is my watermelon peperomia. This was found in my plant nursery in Las Vegas, Star Nursery, earlier this year. And I think this may be my first peperomia in my collection. I absolutely love this plant. Not too sure if I like it in this planter. I think that happens to all plants where eventually the ones that are living on the outside will droop over and I think maybe it's time to just prune them off. But maybe I'll go ahead and try experimenting with some of these and propagating it. So that is an overview of everything currently living on my shelfie. And I know there's tons of things going on. My plants do rotate, but for the most part, this is what is going to be living on my shelfie for now, just because of the blue and white theme that I got going on. And also these plants love natural lighting, and this is the only source of natural lighting I have, this one window. Otherwise, everywhere else in my home is really dark. So a lot of my plants are in this section. Of All right, guys, I didn't think I was gonna to end my video here but I am I'm gonna do a part two for the rest of my plant tour home edition because the video is getting way too long I enjoyed talking so much about my plants planters and little goodies on my plant shelfie thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it but don't worry part two I share a glimpse of my home and how I style my plants not a home tour but close enough you can find more on my blog at ilojulian.blogspot.com aloha bye